about spiders, we've come to the right place. Follow me. Spiders are beneficial predators that feed on many insects, including common agricultural pests such as aphids. Even though they benefit us, many people are afraid of spiders. But are those fears based off of myth or fact? Before we dive into our first spider myth, I want to be clear that there are no scientific studies that conclude that the average person eats four spiders, or as one legend claims, a pound of spiders in their sleep each year. For a sleeping person to swallow even one live spider would involve so many highly unlikely circumstances. So you may sleep soundly knowing that this claim is a myth. Have you ever found a spider in your sink or bathtub? Well, it's certain that this spider was already in your home and looking for a drink when it became trapped. Modern drains contain what is called a pea trap, named for the shape of the pipe, which keeps a small amount of water inside to block sewer gases and odors from entering your home. Spiders are unable to penetrate this. This is why it is a myth that spiders come up through the drains into your house. You may already know that spiders are classified as arachnids and that all arachnids have eight legs. But did you know that spiders are not the only arachnid? Therefore, eight legs does not always indicate a spider. Ticks, harvestmen, and scorpions also have eight legs. How close in proximity are you from a spider at any given time? Well, that depends on the type of environment you're in. For instance, if you're standing in lush green grass, it's safe to assume that small spiders may be right next to your shoes. Now, if you're in the middle of a parking lot, the nearest spider may be 30, 50, or even 100 meters away. This is why the old saying that you are never more than three feet from a spider is a myth. Most spiders that you find in your home are species that have adapted to living in a house environment. It is a myth that spiders seek shelter in your house in the fall in order to escape the cold. A house spider that is placed outside will most likely perish, no matter your good intentions. With a few exceptions, spiders are very shy. They almost always run away rather than bite. Misdiagnoses of insect bites as spider bites is very common. Aside from that, most spiders in Utah have very weak venom and are incapable of hurting humans. But it's good to be on the safe side when handling firewood or cleaning a garage and wear thick gloves to protect from black widows. Now that we've discussed spider myths and misconceptions, I'm going to talk a little bit about local Utah spiders. Let's play a game. Let's see if you can guess which spiders live in Utah. Which one of these spiders can be found in Utah? The tarantula or the brown recluse? The answer is the tarantula. Contrary to popular myth, the brown recluse is not found in Utah. So, why aren't tarantulas spotted here more often? Well, Utah is in the far northern part of the tarantula's distribution range. They spend most of their time in and around burrows, and lastly, tarantulas are nocturnal. Only one of these colorful beauties live in our state. Do you know which one? If you chose the banded orb weaving spider, you are correct. Aside from Utah, the banded orb weaver can be found all around the globe and are known for producing zigzag or X-shaped clusters of silk in their webs, which has been shown to attract prey. 
These spiders are typically found in tall grasses and shrubby vegetation. Are black widows or hobo spiders found in the state of Utah? This was a trick question because both of these can be found in Utah. This is the female black widow. Black widows are the most dangerous spiders to humans in Utah. Fortunately, they are fairly sedentary and spend most of their time in their webs. As mentioned already, it is best to wear thick work gloves while cleaning your garage, shed, or while moving firewood. Hobo spiders are one of the most common indoor spiders found in northern Utah. It is currently undetermined if their bite causes necrotic lesions in humans. Similar looking spiders to hobos in Utah are grass spiders, which are often responsible for the small funnel webs abundant in shrubs. Which of these spiders lives in Utah? This was also a trick question, because while both of these do live in Utah, harvestmen are not spiders. You've probably heard the claim that harvestmen are the most venomous spiders, but they cannot bite us because their mouth parts are too small. Well, we've just learned that harvestmen are not spiders, and, well, the venom part is false as well. Okay, I know that we're talking about local species, but as a bonus, Look how cute this bunny harvestman is. These live in the equatorial Amazon and are so cute. Well, I hope you learned something new today. And even if you think spiders are creepy, I hope that you now attempt to coexist and to learn to appreciate our eight-legged friends.